The Volvo XC range offers three different SUVs in all sizes. Now, the smallest out of that range is the Volvo XC40. And despite being the little brother of the group, this car sure packs a lot in. So this is the Volvo XC40. Yes, this is the Volvo XC40, and like I said, despite being the smallest out of the XC range, this car should not be looked over. It has a very premium feel interior and performs great out on the road. In this video, we're going to delve deeper into this car's design, the tech, and how it drives out on the road. But first, if you want to see more car content from the latest cars out on market, then subscribe to the Holcroft YouTube channel. And to find your next car, then head to the Holcroft website. So first, let's talk about design of the Volvo XC40. And yes, this is the smallest out of the XC range, but looking at it, you wouldn't really think that. It does look like a very spacious and large SUV. Obviously, it comes with that classic and signature Volvo front grille with that updated Volvo branding for 2023. In terms of the front design, there's not really much going on, but to be honest, I don't think it needs it. It's sleek, it's stylish, has a couple of dips in the bonnet, has a nice little front bumper section, obviously with that prominent front grille. It's a classic looking car. It's sleek, it's stylish. I don't think it needs much more. Coming to the side of the XC40, and as you can see, again, there's not really much going on, but it is a sleek and stylish SUV nonetheless. Has that Prusy glass at the back, 18 or 19 inch alloy wheels, depending on the model and spec that you get. Obviously, has retractable wing mirrors with also smart keyless entry. The wing mirrors also come with blind spot monitoring, which just make it an all round safer car. Overall, it's a good looking car, and I think in this black metallic paint, do you know what? It really stands out on the road. It's prominent. It looks classy, like I said, about the front. I'm a fan. Coming to the back of the XC40, and do you know what? I'm surprised that this is the smallest SUV out of the range. It looks massive from the back, but do you know what? In a good way, it has that really prominent rear window, that really nice Volvo branding across the middle, and also the B3, which is about the engine size, which we'll get onto later in the video. Now, if we have a look at the boot space, because if you get an SUV, do you know what? You want a lot of boot capacity. What you get here is 443 litres of boot space, which is a good amount of room. You can easily fit suitcases for a long trip, you can do the week shopping, whatever you want. Has a lot of space and also has a nice under compartment if you want just a bit more space. I also think the fact that it is fully automated open and closing, do you know what? Just adds to that whole classy feel of the XC40. The whole feel of the whole car, it's sleek, it's stylish, and it feels quite elite. You know, it's quite a high-end vehicle, and you see that throughout the XC40. If we just take a look under the bonnet of the XC40, just want to talk a bit more about that mild hybrid system. Now, the XC40 comes with two engine size options that are called B3 and B4. Now, the B4 is the more powerful and can produce 197 horsepower. 0 to 60 is 7.6 seconds. So, you know what? It's a pretty good performing car for a car of this size. 0 to 60, 7.6 seconds. You can't really go wrong with that. And the fact that it's a mild hybrid means that it can produce an average miles per gallon of just over 42. Again, not exactly amazing, but not bad considering the size of this car. But ultimately, this mild hybrid system means that when you're out on the road, you get a smooth yet powerful driving experience. The Volvo XC40 is an SUV, so it's not exactly going to be a wild and thrilling drive. However, with that hybrid system producing 300 newton meters of torque, it's not exactly traveling at snail's pace. The Volvo XC40 is also a very safe and reliable car with plenty of driving safety features, including blind spot monitoring, 360 parking cameras, lane keep assist, and cross traffic alert. Coming inside the XC40, and I just mentioned previously about the XC40 having that high end and premium feel, and you really get that sense in the interior. Just want to point out this is the mid level spec of the XC40 range. The fact that this is the mid level and there's so many nice features to the design. I think that was a very positive note from Volvo there. If you take a look at the seats, it has some nice features, but it has a suede effect. This nice styling, which is very Volvo sort of branding. You have some nice features across your dashboard and also the air vents. Now coming to your infotainment screen and you have a nine inch portrait screen, which comes with the usual smartphone connectivity, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and built-in Google Maps. The one thing I really like about this is that it's portrait. A lot of cars on the market will have landscape infotainment screens and a lot will be nine, 10 inch. In fact, this nine inch and portrait, it feels massive. It feels really good. Just think the layout of it just makes it different from any car on the market. Also comes with an in-car air purifier. 
just you know them touches that really make this car stand out there's plenty of storage has a little phone slot down here which comes with wireless charging has little compartments everywhere nice big storage in your center armrest as well there's lots of space lots of storage coming to your drive display and you have a 12 inch digital drivers display this comes with obviously your usual you know traffic sign recognition comes with your speedometer but also houses your built-in navigation you can easily change what you want to be displayed on here through the settings in the infotainment screen your steering wheel do you know what standard steering wheel lever wrapped comes with all your adaptive cruise control settings your voice recognition for your infotainment screen which just make it such an easier drive you don't need to be faffing about here when you're on a long journey sit back press that and just say play radio x for example and the car will change that very handy overall it's just a sleek stylish interior do you know what i can't really complain about anything in this car it's comfy it's a good driving position everything's laid out perfectly and there's lots of storage very good volvo come to the rear seats and one thing i really want to point out which i point out in so many videos in the past the fact that the rear seats have that same style and branding as the front seats i hate it when cars manufacturers just throw in the back seats without any care i like the fact that they're the same style other nice additions include a centre armrest with two cup holders and two air vents, which of course have the same style as the ones in the front. My only slight concern is the leg room. Now, obviously, cameraman has is a very tall person, so obviously he has his seat quite far back, but you know, I'm sure there's quite a lot of people that are his height. So rear passages aren't really gonna have much space. I mean, yes, the front is roomy and the boot has that really good boot capacity, but it would be nice if there's a little bit more space in the back. Headroom absolutely plenty it is very comfy however leg room i think could be improved slightly that's my only quarry about the back seats saying that though if you are sat in the back on a long journey all right you might not have the most leg room but you've got air vents you've got a usb socket and you've got heated seats in the back so apart from that leg room it is a very comfy car to be in so then there you have it the volvo xc40 all right it might be the younger sibling of the xc range but don't let that make you look over this premium and rather spacious compact suv it's stylish, it's got all the tech that you need and can perform out on the road. To find out more or to book a test drive, then contact Holcroft Volvo Stoke or head to the Holcroft Volvo website.